For example, this portable printer, buying it for $19 and selling it for $65. Here's another example. Finding this product, this dog button recorder on AliExpress for $25 and flipping it on Amazon for $70. This is what I love about the dropshipping business model. You can take a product from one place, sell it on another, and you will make those sales and profits when you're selling products that are in demand, those that people are actually looking to buy right now. And this is what you're gonna find from these product research methods. So you finally decided to start dropshipping. And when looking up information on the internet, you may have found that there's just way too much information, way too many videos. And it's really hard to really understand the right way how to start a successful dropshipping business in 2024. And in this video, I'm going to simplify the whole process and help you understand exactly what you need to do step by step. And I'm going to talk about all of the important things that you need to know about. And I'm not going to be limiting you to any specific selling channel or supplier since there are so many that we can work with. With over seven years of dropshipping experience and still doing it to this very day, I'm more than happy to share all of my knowledge with you. And I'm not just going to leave it at that. I have prepared a full cheat sheet for you. And this cheat sheet has everything that you need to know, everything that I'm going to go over in this video. So if you want access to it, all you got to do is comment hashtag dropshipping 2024. Let me know what you learned from this video. And I will gladly share this cheat sheet with you that has winning products, the best suppliers, how to start dropshipping from A to Z with so much content that you're going to learn in this video. But do stay tuned because I always like to throw in extra value. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do to start, run and manage a successful money making machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, what is dropshipping for all of you who are new here? So dropshipping is a business model that simply allows you to fulfill orders and have an online store without holding any inventory or any stock. So it comes with a minimal upfront investment. You simply have an online store, a customer purchases from your online store, you forward the order details to your supplier and your supplier will ship the product to your customer. So you won't have any physical contact with the product and you will keep the profit between the source price, how much you paid your supplier, to the selling price, how much you sold it for on your selling channel. Now, dropshipping has been around for a while and it's not going to go anywhere. So if you're asking yourself, is dropshipping still worth it in 2024? The answer is not just a yes, it is a big, big yes. And you can just take a look at this little graph right here by Globe Newswire. As you can see, this is the dropshipping market size over a span of 10 years. And right now we're right here in 2024. These are all of the previous years. So as you see, it's gradually growing year by year. And what we have coming up ahead of us is much bigger than anything we've ever seen, witnessed or experienced in the previous years. So if you're asking yourself, is there still room to enter the dropshipping scene? The answer is definitely a yes. Now is the best time to start. If you haven't done so yet, watch this video, get all of the information and resources that you need and then go ahead and take action. And as we can see in this Google Trends chart right here, the dropshipping term is being searched for more and more each year. So again, it's not going anywhere. The market size is increasing year by year. If you ever wanted to start, now is the time. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the dropshipping business model? Let's start with the advantages. First, it has a low startup investment. You can start anywhere from $0 and I'm going to show you how all the way up to around $500 so that you can get a store up and running and start marketing your products. But again, you can also go with the free methods and I'm going to show you again everything in this video. So it's actually a low risk and high reward business model where again, you don't have to have that much capital to get started. And once you see the sales and profits start to roll in, that's when you're going to invest it back into your business and continue to grow until you start making substantial profits. Next, it can be done pretty much from anywhere. All you need is a computer, an internet connection, and the knowledge that I'm passing on to you in this video. There are no limits with the scalability. You can scale as high as you want to go. And once you've got all of the knowledge and experience, you can go on to create a network of business assets that will work for you even while you travel and even while you sleep. Now, some of the cons or disadvantages of the dropshipping business model is that sometimes it's difficult to build a brand, especially since we're dropshipping and we're only purchasing a product once someone actually buys from us. So that's why sometimes it's difficult to brand a product when the supplier doesn't really want to brand the product if you're only going to purchase one each time. But I'm going to cover that and I'm going to show you how you can still brand your business in this video. The second is finding winning products, products that are actually in demand, products that people are actually looking to buy. This is one of the most difficult parts when starting your dropshipping business and I'm going to tackle this issue to the core pretty soon. The next is finding high quality suppliers to work with. There are the conventional 
suppliers that many dropshippers are using like AliExpress and Amazon and other retailers. But then where are the private suppliers? Where are the wholesale suppliers that every dropshipper is looking to work with? Again, that's something I'm going to show you in this video, knowing where to sell, how to start and having no control over stock prices and stock changes that are happening on your supplier's website that need to also happen on your website. And this exactly is where automation comes in. So those are some of the pros and cons. Now I really want to get into the action. So let's continue. Now, before we go on to how do we actually create a dropshipping store and what all the rules are, I want to share with you some of the best winning products that you can sell on your stores. And I have all of these products in the 2024 cheat sheet that I will send to you. Once again, you comment hashtag dropshipping. 2024 let me know what you learned in this video what was your top takeaway and i will send you this sheet with everything that i'm talking about and all of the links inside so check out this product right here this mini portable printer it's being bought for less than 19 dollars, and it's being sold for over 50 dollars. let me click on the link to show you exactly what it looks like so here inside the AutoDS winning products hub, we can see this printer and we can add it to our stores by just clicking on this import draft button right here. But more on that later. This is the ad copy that the seller is running. He's got over 33,000 likes, over 4,000 comments. And this is what their website looks like. I can even get to their website by clicking on this link right here. So you can see their website right here. This is a website that was created on Shopify. This is one of the selling channels that we can sell on. And here's the supplier, the source where they're getting it from, in this case, from AliExpress. They're buying it for $19. They're selling it for $50. And now I'm going to show you three ad copies, three different competitors who are selling this product on their stores. So this is competitor number one, 240 likes, 70 comments. This is competitor number two with 6,000 likes, 400 comments, and 1,300 shares. And this is competitor number three with 18,000 likes, 1,200 comments, and 2,400 shares. Now, each, of course, are linking to their own website. So in this case, I can click here to go to this seller's website. And this guy's selling it for $65. And there was the other website that I showed you that is selling it for $50. And they all have a lot of success selling this product. I can tell not just by the amount of engagements that they're getting. Anyone with 18,000 likes is getting a lot of clicks to their website. And these people are purchasing, they're checking out we're looking at around a two to two to five percent conversion rate which means around two percent at least two percent of the people who are clicking are actually purchasing the product and another way to see that is simply by downloading the similar web extension and this will give you an indication of how many people are entering this website on a monthly basis so i'm just going to click on the extension right here and we can see that this website doodledash.com has over 31,000 visits per month and if i go to the second website printpod we can see that this one is getting over 46,000 monthly visits that's because they ran good ad copies as i showed you and i'm going to share the links to all of that in this video and if we just take around 47,000 monthly visits and get that 2.5 percent conversion rate that's over 1,175 purchases per month and this means that this store right here, who's buying it for less than $20 and selling it for $65, they're making over $40 in profit. So if we take 1,175, multiply that by $40 profit per month, they're making about $47,000 just by putting the right product on their website and marketing it the right way. And showing you three different competitors selling the same product comes to show you that there is no such thing as product saturation. Make a better offer to your buyers. It can be cheaper. You can also add an extra gift when they purchase that product. So they will want to buy a product and get a free bundle that comes with it rather than pay another competitor around the same price and not get that free gift. There's many things that you can do to outshine your competition. And of course, I'm going to touch up more on that later. But this is just one product example that you can see that there is no such thing as product saturation. There will always be someone else who's selling a similar product. You can sell the same product. You can sell a product that looks the same, but has different variations, maybe different colors, different dimensions. There is always something that you can do to stand out and make more sales than your competitors. So once again, some of the things that we can do to outshine our competition is doing things like adding free gifts like this free gift add to cart app for Shopify. If you're selling on Shopify, you can make offers to your buyers or get offers from your buyers and also add promoted listings if you're selling on eBay. And you can simply win the buy box if you're selling on Amazon. Those are just some examples. And I've got links on more information on how you can do all of that inside the cheat sheet. Now, next, I've got some of the best winning products for you to sell. And I want to share this with all of you. And all of this has the information that I showed you. What ads people are running for these products, how popular they are, 
their websites, their suppliers, where they're getting it from, how much they're making, how much they're profiting so that you can really take these examples and sell these products on your stores and do a better job than what you're seeing out here. So some of these products include this headrest pillow with an integrated massage, neck and back stretcher, reusable LED balloons, a four in one high speed USB flash drive, which of course there are many variations for you guys to resell, fast charging retractable car chargers, portable picnic tables, bathroom kitchen cap cleaning brush, 1080p HD wireless camera, and more that I'm not gonna go over in this video. But this cheat sheet is packed with them. And again, hashtag dropshipping2024 in the comments below. Let me know what you love about this video, what you learned about it. And of course, do not forget to like and subscribe if you guys appreciate the value. So those are some of the winning products. Soon I'm gonna show you exactly what you can actually do with them. But I started with that because I know that many people are having a hard time understanding what products to sell before they even get this whole party started. And if you create your dropshipping store, add products, make your homepage look really good, choose the right selling channel, market your product the right way, but you're not selling a product that's in demand right now because you haven't done that research and you don't have that experience yet your dropshipping store is simply Aww. not going to get anywhere so we want to start with the right products and that is what this cheat sheet is going to offer and of course we have all of these products and more inside the auto ds winning products hub so if you're a member of auto ds enjoy all of these products i'm going to talk more about that later but you can find all of that and then some there we've got hundreds of new products being uploaded every day with all of the information that you need. Now let's talk really quickly about what dropshipping products not to sell. We can talk about what we can sell. We've got years and years of data and analytics and a huge database of winning products. But what about products that we cannot sell because we can't just sell anything that we want, right? There are things that we are simply not official resellers of. For example, big brands. If it's a brand that you probably heard of before, like Nike, Sony, Apple, and more, you can obviously not resell their products. However, what you can do is resell aftermarket parts or aftermarket accessories made by third-party manufacturers, and you can and will be able to resell those products that fit the iPhone like cases for iPhone, screen protectors for Samsung Galaxies, and so forth. So all of that is not a problem as long as the manufacturer is not a big brand. So we cannot sell copyright and trademark products. We cannot sell age-restricted products like pornography, alcohol, tobacco, and we cannot sell dangerous goods. This one should go without saying, but no guns, no ammunition, no flammable liquids and anything of that sort. And no medicines, no supplements. We're not doctors, we cannot sell these things. And again, if you wanna learn more about what products you need to avoid reselling, just click on the link in the cheat sheet and it'll take you to a full article on how you can learn more about that. And this way you'll know that what you are selling in your store is perfectly fine. Now let's go over the best dropshipping suppliers to use in 2024. There are new suppliers that are coming out all the time and they're looking to work with dropshippers. And here I kinda of wanna split the suppliers into two. We We've got retail suppliers and we've got private suppliers. Now under that, we also have wholesale suppliers. We can have retail wholesale suppliers. We can have private wholesale suppliers. And this just brings us one layer deeper inside. And by finding suppliers that don't need to go through middlemen to find us. So this means we're actually getting a much, much better price. Now, the difference between retail suppliers and private suppliers is that retail suppliers can be found anywhere and any dropshipper can work with them. For example, AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, the Home Depot, and all of those types of examples, those are retailers. Now, some of them may not want you to dropship from them. It doesn't mean that dropshippers are not doing it and that it's not possible. But some retail suppliers are simply not as dropshipping friendly Whereas on the other hand, we have private dropshipping suppliers who are looking to work with dropshippers like us and make our jobs much, much easier. Another difference is that usually retailers have much more products for us to resell. So it's easier to work with retailers. While on the other hand, private suppliers have special products, unique products that retailers usually don't have. So for me, a combination of both is usually the winner. In any case, we don't wanna work with just one dropshipping supplier. It's good to work with multiple and also from different locations around the world. This way we can not only target the worldwide audience, we'll have more products to sell, we're not putting all of our eggs in one basket, so if one supplier ever fails to provide, we can always lean on the other suppliers that we're working with. 
So we want to work with multiple suppliers. And some of the things that we want to look for in a dropshipping supplier is to make sure that they have global warehouses. As I mentioned, we want to be able to reach out all over the world with our products. It's good to target only one place in the beginning, but as we get more and more used to it, we want to open up our stores. This way we're going to get more traffic and more sales. Many people like to start selling in the USA or in the UK. In other words, to the US audience or to the UK audience. And it's okay. You can do that from anywhere around the world. You don't have to reside in the same place that you want to sell to. However, you do need to understand how it works with the sales tax, income tax, and all of that, all of which you can learn by simply hiring an accountant and asking them how all of that works. More info on that later. Let's continue. So we want to look for global warehouses. We want to look for suppliers who can quickly ship out our products and that have fast delivery times simply because customers do not want to wait 30 days to get their products. It's not six years ago. It's now it's 2024. Nobody wants to wait a month. Next, we want to find suppliers with good return and replacement policies. Now, check out the difference between offering no returns on your store to offering 14, 30 day or even 60 day returns. If our suppliers can offer that to us, of course, we're going to offer that to our customers. And once we offer our customers returns, most of them are not going to return their products. But the fact that we gave it to them in the first place did give them the confidence that they need to proceed with the checkout process because they know that they can always return the product if they don't like it. Next, we want to get suppliers that have fast fast and reliable customer service. The better service you get from your suppliers, the better you'll be able to offer your buyers. So we want to reach out to our suppliers, see how fast they can answer us and see what types of solutions they offer us to the problems that we give them. And this way we can really get a good understanding of the type of service that we'll be able to offer our buyers. Next, we want suppliers with a wide product range so that we can sell more trending products as they come in. And we want high quality products to reduce the amount of returns that we'll get. Lastly, we want a supplier with competitive product prices. This should go without saying, but the better the prices you're getting, the better the prices you'll be able to offer your buyers, meaning you'll be able to be more competitive and make more sales and profit. And now that we understand what to look for in a dropshipping supplier, here's a list of the best dropshipping suppliers for you to work with. Now, remember, we haven't talked about selling channels yet. We haven't talked about where to sell these products and how to work with these suppliers. Right now, I'm just giving you all of the resources and tools that you'll need so that you can slowly narrow down and start building your store. So we understand what to look for in a supplier. Now I'm going to go over the best suppliers that you can work with in different niches, different regions, different types of suppliers. Check out this list that I prepared for you. So the first supplier that I want to talk about is AutoDS. That is now a private supplier. This is all happening inside the AutoDS marketplace where now the system has private suppliers, meaning other suppliers who are signing up to the system, adding their products to the system, and you can easily take those products and sell them automatically on your stores. And AutoDS also is a private supplier inside the system with a warehouse that ships really quickly and has trending products that are ready to ship out every single Single day. Now, not only that, but the private suppliers in AutoDS can also offer customized branding. So we talked about the branding issue when it comes to drop shipping. And I mentioned how it's not really possible to brand your products and ship each one out with your logo. If you're a drop shipper and you're only purchasing one product each time, no supplier is going to create a customized logo for you for only one order each time. And we don't want to purchase inventory in advance because that's not the drop shipping business model. But now it is possible with customized branding inside the AutoDS warehouse. Here's a brief overview of what it looks like. So we've got the marketplace, the AutoDS marketplace right here. And here are under suppliers. I'm going to choose AutoDS suppliers, which has the private suppliers. And as I scroll down, you can see like this backpack, for example, has a customizable branding text attached to it coming from the AutoDS warehouse. So this means that this product, not only can we add it to our stores by just clicking on this button and in, in, in just a couple seconds, it'll get added, but we're going to talk more about that stuff later. This product can get sent out with your customized logo on it. So I clicked on it really quickly just to see what it looks like inside. And we can see here that we've got different different variations, different colors of this backpack that we can add to our stores. And we can also send a private message to the private supplier. So I just clicked on send a message and here I'm just going to write, Hey, this is just a test message. How are you doing? So here you can start communicating with your suppliers, check out their products, check out their shipping times. You can even try to negotiate a better deal for these products. But that's just another example of what you can do inside the AutoDS marketplace with the private suppliers. And as I mentioned, since it has customizable branding, 
This means that we can add our brand to this product simply by going to the store settings on AutoDS and uploading our logo right here. So this is the logo that I've uploaded right now and every product that I sell from that private supplier that offers customizable branding, the product will get sent out with my store logo on the product. And that is simply amazing. So that is why the AutoDS marketplace and private suppliers is my top go-to for dropshipping suppliers. But guys, there are many more suppliers on top of that. One example is simply by heading to the AutoDS suppliers page. And here you have a list of over 30 dropshipping suppliers that you can start working with today. Not only are these suppliers super important, but you can also automate every aspect of your dropshipping business with them. So you'll have price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic orders, quick product importing, and so much more. You can also filter these suppliers by different regions. So as I mentioned, it's important to work with suppliers that can ship to different locations around the world or that are based in different locations around the world so that we can ship quickly to our target audiences around the world. And here we can simply filter the different types of regions or we can search for a specific supplier. But here you've got over 30 suppliers that you can work with, which is already a huge list of suppliers with tens of millions of products that you can start reselling today, not only reselling, but also automating your business with them. But on top of that, if you wanna work with a supplier under a specific niche, like let's say you wanna open a jewelry dropshipping store, you have this blog article right here with the best jewelry dropshipping suppliers that you can work with. And as I scroll down, you can just see that you have the list right here and you have an explanation about each supplier, what they can do for your jewelry dropshipping business. And we've got the same for different types of niches. For example, pet dropshipping suppliers, clothing dropshipping suppliers, dropshipping gifts from the UK, dropshipping clothes from the UK, candle dropshipping suppliers, print on demand, dropshipping suppliers from Australia, medical supplies, which you need to be careful with because we talked about medicines and supplements, but this will help you understand exactly what types of medicines and supplements you can sell. Lingerie dropshipping suppliers, Australian dropshipping suppliers, Florida, Canada, UK, USA, 30 free dropshipping suppliers and wholesale dropshipping suppliers. So all of these blog articles are packed with information with how you can connect with these suppliers, how you can work with them, who they are, what types of products they have, and how we can dropship them successfully. So this is my list of the best dropshipping suppliers to work with in 2024 and believe me it's more than enough now one more important thing that i want to add on to suppliers so let's say you're working with these suppliers you're adding products from their best seller sections and you're testing them out on your drop shipping stores of course i'm going to get to all this stuff later but if you've done this before and you've been making sales or you're about to start making those sales because you listed those products and by the way you can all invest just one dollar into your business sign up for auto ds with your one dollar trial and you'll get all of the automation things that i'm talking about in this video. It's definitely worth the investment. And of course, I've got a link to it right below this video. So another thing that you can do is also source for products. So let's say you're already working with a supplier. Let's take these dog chew toys right here. So I'm going to open up the item editor for it. Okay. So this is just one of the products that I have on one of my stores. We can see all of the information right here, but here I can click on these three dots and I can request sourcing. This means that I can tell the system, the AutoDS system, hey guys, I just sold this product and I'm looking for a cheaper source. I don't like my supplier, which in this case, I can click on the supplier right here. It looks like Walmart's logo. Let's see, yeah. So I don't wanna buy from my supplier at Walmart. They're a retailer and I actually wanna get a cheaper supplier that has faster shipping, or a cheaper price. So can you please source this product for me and find a cheaper supplier and the system will do that for you. So that's another way to not only help you get more profits for your order, it's gonna help you with your product research because you're gonna be connected to better suppliers, but it's also gonna help you, once again, find better suppliers to work with for your dropshipping business, find those private suppliers and start to scale your business from there. So that's another quick tip when it comes to dropshipping suppliers and sourcing your products to find better suppliers for the products that you're already selling on your stores, whether from retailers, wholesalers, private suppliers, and so forth. So we talked about working with multiple suppliers. We talked about private suppliers. We talked about AutoDS suppliers and AutoDS as a supplier, but I'm also gonna add more methods if that is not enough to find the best suppliers to work with in your dropshipping stores, in your dropshipping business. So another way to do it is to simply conduct a Google search for private wholesale dropshipping suppliers. And that's gonna give you a list of other wholesale dropshipping suppliers or private suppliers that you can work with. However, this is the manual method. You're gonna to have to reach out to them. You're gonna to have to negotiate with them, see what their requirements are, make sure that they don't have a minimum order requirement. Like for example, if you go to Alibaba, you'll notice that they're selling a lot of products. They support dropshipping. But on the other hand, 
they do require an MOQ or in a minimum order quantity for many of their products, not all, but for many of their products, which again, takes us away from the dropshipping business model, which we don't want to do. So we have to contact those suppliers. We have to negotiate with them, pricing, payment options, and all of that. And once we find someone that looks like they're going to work well with us, we can go ahead and start working with them. Also, we won't really be able to benefit from automation when we're working with these private suppliers that we found off of Google. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to scale our business, but it's still a possibility and I'm still going to throw it out there. And when we start to negotiate with these private suppliers that we found from search engines, make sure that they comply with the things that we're looking for in a dropshipping supplier, which I mentioned earlier in this video. And now let's actually understand how we can start a dropshipping business after we've been over product research, suppliers, and all of these important aspects that we need to understand that we need to take advantage of before we jump in and start to create our stores, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So how do we start a dropshipping business in 2024, a step-by-step -step tutorial? So this is the right way to start a dropshipping business in 2024. And the first step, once again, is product research, learning how to find the right products to sell. Now, not only am I going to offer you the 10 products in this cheat sheet, again, hashtag dropshipping2024, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you learned in this video. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you appreciate the value. It'll mean a lot to me, but not only am I gonna share with you the cheat sheet with the top 10 winning products, of course, you're gonna need more than that. So how can you actually find these products yourself? Here are some of my favorite methods for product research. And again, this is gonna provide you with more than what you need to find these winning products for yourself and start selling them and make those sales and profits. So for product research, finding winning products, the first place is the AutoDS winning products hub. Now I already mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna go over it too much, but again, inside the AutoDS system, you've got the winning products hub and here you've got tons of products, many more that are being added every day. So you can always check out the freshest, hottest products that are trending right now. And inside every product, we share all of the information with you, along with the seller's ad copies, how much engagements they're getting, their websites with a link to their websites, target audience so that you can market this product the right way to the right people and get them to buy, how much it's being sold for, what is your profit potential, and of course, add all of these products to your stores by simply clicking on import draft. But first, of course, you need to add your stores. I'm going to get to that soon and also what types of stores you can create. But the AutoDS Winning Products Hub will give you a huge shortcut into easily finding and adding the most trending products on the market right now. And of course, all of these product research methods that I'm going to talk about, they're all going to get you to the point where you can easily do what these sellers are doing that I showed you in this video. For example, this portable printer, buying it for $19 and selling it for $65. Here are some more examples, buying this treat dispenser for dogs on Amazon for $53 and selling it on eBay for $88. Here's another example, finding this product, this dog button recorder on AliExpress for $25 and flipping it on Amazon for $70. This is what I love about the dropshipping business model. You can take a product from one place, sell it on another, and you will make those sales and profits when you're selling products that are in demand, those that people are actually looking to buy right now. And this is what you're gonna find from these product research methods. So the AutoDS Winning Products Hub, number one go-to. The second is product finding blog articles. These are absolutely free methods. You do not have to spend a dime. Just click on the link in the cheat sheet that I will send to you in the comments below. And here it will direct you to the product finding section of our blog articles on autods.com slash blog. And here you've got the top winning products to sell, whether it's on Facebook marketplace, whether you want to drop ship drones, whether it's the best Shopify niches, the best dropshipping products to sell on your Amazon stores, gaming products if you want to go with the gaming niche, UK dropshipping baby products, and so much more. The blogs are being updated at least twice every week with new blog articles, including finding hot winning products with all the information just being given to you. And we ask for nothing in return. Just start automate and succeed with your dropshipping business, this is how you're going to be able to make it in the dropshipping game. So product finding blog articles, you've got tons of articles with the best winning products inside. The third method, and this is another freebie, is the sell these now YouTube playlist. So if you're the type that likes to watch videos, I dropped the link to this playlist in the cheat sheet. And here you have videos of trending products to sell. So if you're the type that likes to read articles, go ahead and read inside the product finding bestsellers. 
But if you're the type that likes to watch videos, you can also watch the videos. In any case, we also embed them inside the blog articles so that you can easily win from both worlds. Now, the third place for product research is by leveraging Google Trends and Google Lens. These are two services that are being brought to us for free by Google. So it's another free product research method. And I've got links to blog articles on how you can use Google Lens as well, of course, as an embedded video or how to use Google Trends in order to spot trending items that you can start selling on your stores right now the next product research method is learning to spy on social media trends for example we can do the conventional method of opening TikTok and writing hashtag TikTok made me buy it in the search field as well as Amazon finds try also hashtag gadgets you'll find a lot of trending products that people created organic videos around them and they're selling them lots of people are clicking lots of people are buying them so you can get an example of those types of products there Plus, I left a link to the AutoDS TikTok Spy Tool. This is another tool that you can use to find winning TikTok ad copies that will lead you to the product pages. I have a quick example right here inside the AutoDS system. So I can simply click right here on TikTok Spy and I can filter all types of things like I want to find the types of videos that got more than 20,000 likes so I can really narrow down on the popular ones. And as I scroll here, I'll be able to find some great products that other dropshippers are selling like this TikTok shop jewelry product right here that's got over 30,000 engagements. And as I scroll, I'll find more and more. So this is another way to be able to spy on the competition, see what people are doing on social media, what's working well for them. And of course, we can replicate that success with the dropshipping suppliers that we found. The next method for product research, again, absolutely free, costs $0, is going to your supplier's websites and checking out new products, new arrivals, and bestsellers. And one of the new best suppliers on the scene is Timu. And we've already got content on how you can leverage Timu for your dropshipping business. You can also automate them, add products in a second, and you'll have price and stock automation. All of the automation going on with AutoDS, we also support Timu. And here you simply want to click on new arrivals and see what are some of these products that you simply haven't seen before. Like this cute bat shape novelty bag. I've seen all kinds of bags, but I haven't seen this cool bat shape one. And you can continue narrowing down on products that you simply haven't seen before. Now, if you're new to the dropshipping scene, almost every product is going to look new to you. But the more you look into it, the more you research for products, the more you check out what other competitors are doing, the easier you'll be able to spot new items that are coming out that people simply haven't started selling yet. Now, again, I said that saturation is not an issue, but it's much easier to sell products that are not being sold by too many competitors out there. And you can do that once again by going to the new arrivals and testing out those products. Another one is simply by clicking on suppliers bestseller sections. So Timu, of course, also has a bestseller section. You can do it with other suppliers that you're working with, but these are proven trending products, what we see right here. So this is another place where you can easily find hot sellers to market to your audience. Another place to conduct product research and get it again absolutely for free is leveraging the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. So I left a link to it with a full blog article and a video on how to use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. And this simply has it all. It has all kinds of trending products. You have a smart filter system and you can easily find so many new winners using the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, which AliExpress created just for us dropshippers. So go ahead and read about how you can use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. We all have it for free inside our AliExpress accounts. More info on the content that we have below. And lastly, once you use all of these methods or one of these methods, you'll find more than enough winning products for you to start your dropshipping business from and start to learn from those products that actually start to sell on your store. On top of that, I'm also going to provide you with this product research dropshipping spreadsheet where you can easily start to narrow down on your winning products. So this means, for example, that you're going to add the product's name right here. You're going to add the source, the supplier's link, and you're going to answer all of these questions like, are you passionate about this product? Do you even care about it? Because it's more difficult to sell products that we don't really understand or you, we don't really have any passion for them or we don't know what they are. Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Does it solve a problem or stand out? This is one of the most important things one of the most important questions that we want to ask ourselves is if the product is not a problem solver, then we can't show the audience why they need it. Talking about a product's features is not going to do the job. You need to make the customers or the online shoppers understand why they need this product. So what problem does it help them solve? And does the product cost less than $30? We don't want to start with really expensive products. It's easier to sell cheaper products in the beginning. And once we answer all of these questions, if we have no on some of them, we'll move on to the next products. And the ones that we answered yes to all of them, 
those products have a much higher chance of selling on our stores. So use this product research dropshipping spreadsheet. I have a link to it again in the cheat sheet. All you got to do is click on file, make a copy so that you can start making those edits yourself. And again, more freebies for product research. This is how you're going to find winning products and you don't have to spend a dime doing so. So we talked about product research. Now we're going to talk about selecting a dropshipping supplier. Now we already talked about the suppliers. We talked about the AutoDS marketplace with private suppliers, customized branding and the AutoDS warehouse. We talked about the 30 plus dropshipping suppliers that you can automate your dropshipping business with today, including Timu, Shane, Etsy, AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, and more. And you also have niche and region specific suppliers in the list that I showed you above. So once you choose what supplier you wanna work with and take everything into consideration, everything that I showed you in this video, next you wanna choose a selling channel. And now it's about time to start talking about this. Most videos out there that you're gonna see are going to try to get you to sell on one selling channel because that's mostly where they have their experience. But we have much more experience than that here. And today, the best selling channels for you to sell your products on are eBay, Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, WooCommerce, and Wix. So those are the selling channels that are really popular today. Some are marketplaces and some are customized websites. I'm gonna go over each and every one of them so that you can narrow down on the one that suits your business the most. Starting with eBay. So the first selling channel that I wanna talk about is eBay. I've been dropshipping on eBay for years and years now, and it's one of my favorite selling channels to sell on. So I'm gonna show you my screen soon. I'm gonna show my eBay store and some of the things that I'm doing there, as well as other selling channels that I'm gonna talk about. But for now, here's one of the reasons why I love eBay. For one, it's really easy to get started. You don't need to create a whole store from scratch. You can simply register for an eBay account and start selling at zero expenses. Today, eBay offers over 200 listings that you can list absolutely for free without spending a dime. And you'll only have to owe them something only after you make a sale. So you can really start to scale your business once you start making sales and profits. And if you're not making any sales with those 200 products, you can always replace them with other products until they start to sell. And then with those profits, you'll start to invest it back into your business, as I mentioned before. So it's easy to get started. It's got millions of online shoppers with intent to purchase. Now, eBay's got millions of online shoppers with an intent to purchase. What this means is when someone opens up eBay, as opposed to opening up a Google, on eBay, they're opening it because they're looking to buy something. And when they're opening up Google, they can just search for something like, I don't know, how to get rid of acne. So on eBay, you've got millions of online shoppers entering every day with an intent to buy something. They're gonna search eBay search field for something that they wanna buy. And if your title is similar to what they're searching for, they're most likely going to see you on the front page. And that is how you can get free organic traffic to your store. You can do it without any marketing techniques and without spending a dime on marketing. And I'm also going to go over some free marketing methods that you can use for eBay as well as for other selling channels. Another thing that I love about eBay is got well, I already mentioned this, but it's got a $0 starting budget. I already explained why, and that's one of the things that I love about it. Also, you've got seller and buyer protection. For us, what's good is the seller protection. So of course, for example, if a buyer reaches out and opens up a case on eBay and says, hey, I didn't get my product, the seller, you, you didn't send the product to me. So why don't you just give me back a refund for my money? And because you're a smart seller and you're working with suppliers that supply tracking information that's actually trackable and readable, then you can prove to them that they actually got the product. Hey, here's your, your UPS tracking link or USPS or FedEx or whatever shipping carrier you got from your supplier. Here is proof that your product was delivered to your address. And this way, eBay is going to side with you, the seller, instead of just saying, oh, if a buyer said so, then it's probably true. So that's you, the seller, getting seller protection. And this is one thing that eBay offers, seller and buyer protection. And it's also easy to spy on the competition. It's easy to just open up eBay, search for a product that you wanna sell, and see how well other competitors are selling them eBay will easily show you how many similar sellers are selling that product and how many sales they're making from it. So it's really easy to spy on the competition and see what they're doing. Some of the cons of selling on eBay is selling limits. So if you don't have an eBay account or, or if you haven't sold anything yet on eBay before, then you're gonna start off with around 10 products that you can sell. And even though eBay tells you, hey, you can list 200 products for free, 
only if it's a new account, we're only gonna allow you right now to list 10 products. That's not a lot, not enough to conduct product research and see what's working well for us. So for this, we're gonna have to learn how to raise our selling limits. And I'm gonna provide you with all of those resources soon. The second is competition. Now competition isn't the end of the world, but it will cut from some of our sales and some of our profits. And that's why we're watching this very special video to understand how we can overcome all of that. It's difficult to build a brand on eBay because it's not your own store. It's eBay's store at the end of the day, and you're simply selling on their marketplace. So while you do have a storefront and you can create your own billboard and your own logo and stuff, it's not your URL, it's not your store address, it's eBay. So it's more difficult to create a brand around that product product and also there is no customer email list. This is a great marketing method to be able to send email marketing campaigns to our buyers and send them some promotions, send them some offer so that they will want to go to your website and of course purchase or repurchase again. On eBay, we're not collecting any email addresses. eBay is going to keep that information for themselves. So on the one hand, they're giving us millions of online shoppers free organically. As long as we're selling something that people are looking to buy, they're going to find their way to our listings. But on the other hand, they're going to keep the customer information so that they can retarget them and they can resell to them. But you can also target customers who are taking interest in your products. I'm going to get to that soon. So here are some of the best resources that you can have so that you can start selling well on eBay. The first is how to start dropshipping on eBay a full beginner's guide and this blog article and video that's embedded inside will take you step by step on how to create an eBay store from scratch and this has it all including how to sign up for it to eBay how to list your first item how to conduct product research on eBay selecting suppliers to work with calculating your profits importing your products fulfilling your orders upgrading your selling limits and all of the extra things that you need to know about so this full guide has it all it's again completely free a to z how to start a store from scratch with no experience to actually making your first sales and profit. The next resource is how to find top selling items on eBay. So this blog article and video will help you with your eBay product research. Next is the 20 best eBay dropshipping suppliers. So you can connect with the right suppliers to work with on your eBay stores, how to increase eBay selling limits. We've got a full article detailed only on increasing your eBay selling limits, which is really important, especially if you're starting a new eBay account. Now, if you're a seasoned seller and you already have some accounts and you've been selling for a few years, there is a lot of marketplaces where you can buy ready-made eBay stores or people who have been selling for a while and now they're selling their stores because, I don't know, they moved on to other things and you can take advantage of those stores and those selling limits also. So you can either start your own or buy a working business. And you've also got a free A to Z eBay dropshipping course. Everything, of course, is linked inside the cheat sheet. Again, if you want it, just drop a comment below. Hashtag dropshipping2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What was your top takeaway? And I will share this cheat sheet with all of the links inside. So here's that free eBay course that I was talking about. Again, absolutely free. Just click on the link and start watching all of these videos that you have for this course. This course will take you through a full tutorial every step of the way. This again is more than enough to start a successful dropshipping business on eBay, which is one of the selling channels that you can sell on. So again, you've got your list of suppliers with tens of millions of products that I showed you that I talked about in this video. You can take those products and sell them on your selling channels, which is what I'm going over right now. So eBay is one of those selling channels where you can sell all of those products from your suppliers. Now let's take a quick look at one of my eBay stores. So you can see right here, I'll even refresh the page so you can see it's not some screenshot or, or whatever. So here's some of the traffic that I'm getting on my eBay store. And you can simply see they're giving out to you everything with full analytics. You can see how many people are coming in organically, how many people are coming in from promoted listings, which is one of the marketing methods that I'll talk about later when we get to the marketing part. But again, I'm not paying a dime for marketing only after I make a sell on eBay, my top 20 search spot impressions and so forth. So you can see my total impressions, how many of them are organic, how many page views and sold listings, but I'm going to show you that in a different screen. And this is just looking from September to October. So just one month of data. Now let's look at some of the performance and sales. So we can see some of that right here. Again, this is just in the last month and this is just one of my stores. I have multiple stores. I don't have enough time to show you guys everything, but this is just one of them. So we can see the total amount of sales in the last month, the quantity sold, average price per, per product, uh, how many sales in total, how many total buyers we have, how many of them are one-time buyers, how many of them are repeat buyers, 
and sales by category and more information that they offer. And we've also got the payment section. So I can just refresh this again. This is the total funds that eBay owes me. So at the moment, they owe me around $500 and they process some of those funds. Some of them are available. I have my payout set on a daily basis, but still sometimes it takes them a few days to send their payouts, but that's okay. I've got enough cash flow going on to process my orders, get my payouts, and of course, send the profits, withdraw them to my bank account. This eBay account is connected to one of my Payoneer accounts. So eBay sends the funds to my Payoneer account and I use my Payoneer account to either pay for my orders, pay my suppliers, or withdraw the funds, the profits to my bank account. So that's mainly how it works with eBay. Again, this is just off the top. There's much more that goes to it. And that's why I left all of the resource links right here. So eBay is one of my favorite selling channels. Number two is Shopify. Now Shopify, unlike eBay, is your own customizable website. This means that you're going to have your own www.yourstorename.com. And even if you don't have any technical experience, you can still create a complete store from A to Z. So first things first, use this free Shopify trial signup link. Otherwise, Shopify is not going to give you a free trial. And it's important to start off for free. Start off with a budget of zero. Use the link that I have in this cheat sheet to get your free Shopify trial and really try it out before you buy. Some of the things that I love about Shopify is once again, it's a fully customizable website. You have no selling limits. Unlike eBay, Shopify won't tell you, hey, you can only list 10 products on day one. You can list a thousand or even 10,000 products on day one. Hey, it's your store. It's your business. You can do whatever you want with it. Third, it's easier to build your brand because again, it's your store and you can make it look however you want. It's not inside a marketplace. Nobody owns your store except for you. You can collect, of course, your customer's email list. So this time when customers are leaving their email addresses because you're sending them some promotion or they purchase from your website, you're collecting their email address. And once you have a few hundred email addresses or a few thousand, you can start sending them email marketing campaigns. Again, I'm going to talk about marketing soon, but this is another really important thing to have because once you have the customer's email address, they're yours and sending out an email doesn't cost any money. So this is free marketing for your customers, but it does take a while to build it up in the beginning. Again, no technical skills required and you have access to the Shopify themes and app store. So you have a huge list of themes to make your store more visually appealing. And you have the app store that can help you make more conversions, help you with marketing, help you with better pop-ups, help you with email marketing campaigns, help you make good offers for your buyers, free gifts, and so many more things that you can do there. Some of the cons about Shopify is that it actually requires a marketing budget. Now, there are some free marketing techniques that I'm going to talk about soon, but mainly if you want to start running ads for your products so that people can actually see it, you're going to have to spend a budget on marketing. Whereas in marketplaces that have free organic traffic like eBay, you don't really have to spend anything on marketing. You can list a product and if somebody's searching for it, they're most likely going to find it in your store. Only on Shopify, there is no Shopify search engine. They can search on Google, but Google is going to have so many other types of results. So this means that you're going to have to spend a budget on marketing to get your product in front of the target audience. Another is that it has a more difficult learning curve than other methods. Even though I'm going to solve this for you soon, it takes time to build a store, especially if it's your first store or your first couple of stores. And it comes with a monthly subscription. You have to pay a monthly subscription in order to get your store up and running on Shopify, even if you haven't made any sales yet. That is why it's crucial to start with the free trial signup link. And right now, Shopify is also going to offer three months for $1 using this link. So again, use it, take advantage of it, try before you buy and make your business work the right way by investing the minimal amount and getting the maximum results. Some of the resources that I have for you to start the right way on Shopify is a full free Shopify dropshipping course, just like the eBay one that I showed you. So this is the same for Shopify. You have all these lessons here and it has everything that you need on every topic. And here side by side, I create a store from scratch with you, whether it's the logos or the homepage and the product page and everything that comes along with it, navigation menus and so forth. Next, we have a how to start dropshipping on Shopify full guide again, embedded video inside if you want to watch the video, but you have the whole walkthrough of how to start a Shopify dropshipping store, just like the course only here, it's broken down into sections in a blog article and you have more content like how to start dropshipping from AliExpress to Shopify. If you want to use AliExpress as your supplier, top Shopify dropshipping stores, examples and their secrets. So there we have a lot of examples of Shopify stores that are making it, they're successful. And we gave you all of their strategies and everything that they're doing there, how to spy on Shopify stores so you can spy your company even better and the top 17 Shopify dropshipping suppliers. So I'm not going to open those links now, but that is some of the Shopify resources that you're going to get inside the 
dropshipping 2024 cheat sheet. And here's one of my Shopify dropshipping stores. Let me just refresh this dashboard really quick. So these are the stats from the last year. We've got almost a million dollars in sales, an 82% increase. Most of it that's coming from the online stores rather than, than the apps that I'm using. Over 610,000 online store sessions, online conversion rate of 2.5%. As I mentioned, it's mostly between two to 3%. So I usually take 2.5% because that's what's happening in my stores. That's also what's happening on other stores that I see. And again, this is the average conversion rate in the dropshipping industry. So we've got 38,000 add to cart sessions. We've got over 17,000 total orders, average order value of $65, which is pretty good. That's medium ticket. We've got the top selling products, returning customer rate of 16%, which is great. I've got a lot of returning customers on this online store. And again, the Shopify dashboard is full of analytics of everything that you need. So use the resources, learn exactly the steps that I took in order to create these successful dropshipping stores so that you can replicate the same success for you. Now, the next selling channel that I want to talk about is Amazon. We can all sell on Amazon anyone can create an account there and start dropshipping products right now and this goes by entering a buy box and making a better offer than the sellers who already have their products listed on Amazon and the reason that we want to do this is because we can completely automate our business connect our Amazon store to AutoDS and have everything automated for us here's an example of one of my Amazon dropshipping stores so I have a couple of products listed here and again you've got access to the Amazon seller central where you can take a whole bunch of actions on your store even though most of it can be done through AutoDS and one of the things that I love about Amazon is just like eBay, it's easy to get started. Just sign in, verify your seller account and start adding products. Millions of online shoppers with an intent to purchase. That's why they enter Amazon because they're looking for something that they want to buy. And again, not how to create arts and crafts or whatever. They have free organic traffic. So they're going to give you, they're going to bring the customers to you. Simply add products that people are looking to buy and they will find their way to your listing. It's easy to spy in the competition, just like on eBay. Search for the product that you want to sell on Amazon. See how well it's going there for other sellers. Or maybe you'll notice that there's not much competition on it so that you can easily enter that buy box and kill the competition. Enter the buy box and win. That's what it's all about. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, do not worry because of course I've got all the links to the resources below. But let's talk about some of the cons. This does come with a monthly subscription, especially once we start to automate our business. But again, in the long run, it's worth it because we're going to make much more sales and profit this way. But there is a professional monthly subscription that we need to pay Amazon so that we can start selling. There is a bit of competition, which of course we can definitely outcome. And again, it's difficult to build a brand because it's a marketplace just like eBay and there's no customer email list just like eBay. That's a marketplace. It's one of the cons that we have there. But we have the other pros like free organic traffic, easy to get started, and they just simply have millions of customers who are looking to purchase products day by day and they can make it to your listing. So one of the resources that we have here inside the 2024 cheat sheet for dropshipping, again, hashtag dropshipping 2024. And I'm going to send this cheat sheet to you with everything that I'm going over in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate the value. So here is the free Amazon course and you can see all of the lessons right here. And of course, we've got more info like a full video that many people seem to like over 240,000 views as I'm recording this video. So it's a full walkthrough on how to start your dropshipping business on Amazon. Of course, we've got a blog article that's also going to take you step by step, hand in hand, as you start by registering your account, choosing your selling plans, starting to look for products, looking for good products that are selling so that you can enter the buy box and be the first seller on there so that every time someone purchases from Amazon, they're going to purchase from your listing, even though there's other sellers on Amazon who are selling that same exact product. It's called winning the buy box. And I show you everything on how to do it in that blog article, in that video and in that free course. And you've got more content like how to dropship on Amazon without money, the 10 best Amazon dropshipping courses, free and paid, the best dropshipping products to sell on your Amazon store and Amazon product research, a good guide to finding trending niches. Check out Amazon. I highly, highly recommend it. Next is Etsy. Etsy is a unique marketplace where artists usually sell their handcrafted, handmade or arts and crafts and also craft supplies, tools and party favors. Those are the main categories that you can sell on Etsy. That's what makes it a unique marketplace, easy to get started. It's, it's another marketplace that has tons of buyers that are entering every day with an intent to purchase. So again, these marketplaces are going to get you free organic traffic. Just sell the right products and you will get customers to see your product and also purchase them. It's also easy to spy on your competitors because again, you just need to search for whatever product you want to sell on Etsy in this case and see how well it's going for other sellers. One of the things that I love about this, as opposed to the other marketplaces or most, other marketplaces is that this has no monthly subscription. Etsy doesn't want any money from you on a monthly basis. 
However, there is a 20% listing fee. So every time you list a product, it'll cost 20 cents. Now there are also no monthly selling limits. You can sell as many products as you want. However, again, since every product, every listing is gonna cost you 20 cents to list, you're probably not gonna list 3000 products in one day. You're slowly gonna to start to test different types of products that you can sell in the handmade categories and other categories that I'm also gonna show you in the content later. But if you're selling the right products, again, doing the right product research, selling from the right categories on Etsy, then you will slowly start to build your business because there's a lot of shoppers and there's a really low competition right now when dropshipping on Etsy because there's simply not a lot of dropshippers there. I, however, am of course, one of those drop shippers. Here's one of my Etsy stores and you can see right here. And I did start the store recently, so only got about 2,500 views, 1,300 visits, just about 27 orders, $730 uh, revenue. Because again, I just got started with this. Etsy is relatively new, but I'm still experiencing good sales and I've only got 11 active listings. That's not a lot. It's actually not good at all to have such few listings and I wish I had more time, but I'm sharing with you all of the strategies that I know in the content that I add inside that cheat sheet. But again, as you can see right here, I've got an order that I need to ship tomorrow. I can open the orders page and see the rest of my orders, the ones that were completed. So I can scroll here and just see more products that I sold. And of course I can go to the finances, I can do some marketing, but as you can see right here on some of the notifications that I got recently, they lifted the payment account reserve that they put usually on new sellers, especially when you don't update tracking information that's actually trackable on Etsy. But in time, they're also going to lift that as they did for me right here because they see that I am a good seller and I'm getting good reviews and there's no problems with my transactions. And I'm also making sell from offsite ads and more marketing methods that I'm gonna talk about soon. But again, one of the things that I love about Etsy is that it's one of the new kids on the block that you can start dropshipping on with minimal competition at least while I'm recording this video. So take advantage of that. We are now at the golden age, at the golden years of dropshipping on Etsy. Some of the cons is that it's restricted only to specific niches and categories, as I talked about. So you can only sell inside the handcrafted, handmade, or vintage items niche, arts and crafts, and craft tools and supplies, as well as party favors. Those are the only things that you can actually sell on Etsy. And if you start to add products that are not related to that, Etsy is slowly going to start taking down your listings and eventually also suspend your account. So nobody wants that to happen. That's why you need to learn how to sell on Etsy the right way. And that is why I added these resources to the cheat sheet, a free Etsy dropshipping course, just like the other courses that I showed you, how to start dropshipping on Etsy, a full beginner's guide article with a video inside, how to dropship jewelry on Etsy and the top 20 Etsy dropshipping suppliers. So Etsy again is more of a niche store. Whereas in other selling channels that I talked about, you can decide whether you want to open a general store or a niche store. However, my recommendation right from the start is to begin with general stores. This way you can broadly test the market, different categories, different products, and see what starts to sell. And once you start to pinpoint and cherry pick those winners, you can consider making a niche store around that product. So if you're wondering if you should start with a niche store or a general store, that is your answer right there. And I want to quickly answer another question that many, many people are asking. What happens if I'm using let's say uh, Timu or Amazon as my supplier and I ship out the product to someone who bought it on my eBay store, for example, they're going to get it in, in Timu branding or in Amazon branding, you know, logos all over their packages. So isn't the customer going to be mad that they ordered from eBay and they got a package from Amazon? The answer to this and everybody who ever tried drop streaming before can back me up on this one. The customers do not care about the packages and where they came from. All that matters to them is that they got exactly what they ordered in the right time frame that you showed on your product page. Once they get it, they're going to be happy that they got the product. So put this question on the side. Do not worry about it. Start drop shipping and you'll see exactly what I mean. So Etsy is another great selling channel to work with. Another is Facebook, Facebook marketplace and Facebook shops. Let's go over the pros and cons really quick. You can easily promote your products for free on Facebook groups, so you don't have to spend a dime on marketing. It's easy to get started. Anyone with a Facebook account has the marketplace and can start selling there. However, there are some cons to this that I'm gonna to get to soon. So you can get free organic traffic. Of course, customers who are looking to buy things, they click on the marketplace because they're looking to buy something, so then they can find your listing. There is no monthly subscription no monthly fees and no selling limits. These are the top pros, the top advantages of selling on Facebook marketplace. Facebook wants you. They're looking for e-commerce store owners. They're looking for people who are looking to sell their products, whether new or used. And in order to get as many sellers as possible, they need to bring down their fees. Now, all of the marketplaces, all of the selling channels that I talked about in this video, they will charge you with transaction fees, marketing fees, with payment processor fees, and Facebook will too. Only Facebook has the lowest one. 
and they won't charge you anything before you actually start making sales and profit, which I personally think is great, especially for beginners who don't have much of a budget to begin with. Now, some of the cons of dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace and take this into consideration, you need to be a US citizen because you will have to provide SSN social security number for verification once you reach $500 in sales. Not only that, everybody in the US, because on Facebook Marketplace, you can pretty much dropship only to the United States audience. But if you want to be able to do that successfully, you're going to have to have the shipping options available when when you're adding a listing to the Facebook marketplace. And in order for that to happen, you have to be connecting through a US IP address. In other words, you need to live in the United States and you need to be a US citizen if you want to drop ship successfully on Facebook marketplace. Otherwise, there are some ways to go around it, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. So it's more difficult to build a brand on such marketplaces. And of course, you're not collecting the customer's email addresses because Facebook is going to keep that for themselves. Besides that, it's a great, great marketplace to sell on, especially if you meet the prerequisites that I wrote in the cons. Now you've got a lot of resources for Facebook Marketplace. One again is a free course split by sections by lessons like I showed you in other courses. Everything again, completely free. How to start dropshipping on Facebook, a full beginner's guide article and a video. And we've also got a case study on Paul Lipsky, a popular dropshipper YouTuber who made over $600 profit in one week dropshipping on Facebook from Amazon, as well as more content like product research on Facebook, how the fees work, how to calculate your profits, the best Facebook marketplace categories, and a full case study, how I went from zero to 35 sales in one week, full transparency. I showed all the products that I sold, how I sold them, how I reached out to the customers, how I marketed it and everything else. So everything that you need to know about dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace is inside the resources below. Next, we've got Wix and WooCommerce. I put these two together because they kind of go hand in hand. It's kind of like Shopify where you can create your own customizable website where there are no selling limits. It's easy to build your brand. You're collecting your customers' emails. So it's really important for email marketing. There are really no technical skills required, even though it is more technical than other methods that I showed you. And it has a themes and plugin store, which is kind of like Shopify's app store and theme store so that you can create your own themes and add all kinds of plugins that can help you make your store look better and make more sales. Now the cons, kind of similar to Shopify, is that it requires a marketing budget because once you add products to your stores, again, nobody knows that it exists. Just like Shopify, you're gonna have to market your products either in free ways or paid methods to get people to know that your products and stores actually exist. It has a more difficult learning curve than the other methods that I showed you. It takes time to build a store and both of them require monthly subscriptions. More information on that on the resources that I sent below, how to start dropshipping from AliExpress to Wix, the 10 best Wix dropshipping apps, the top 15 Wix dropshipping suppliers, how to start dropshipping on WooCommerce and WooCommerce versus Shopify if you're looking for that side-by-side -side comparison. And by the way, these tutorials really give you a full walkthrough on how to create your stores from zero from scratch up until you have a store up and running that looks really good and selling profitable products. All right, so now that we have an extended overview of the selling channels that we can sell on and we talked about suppliers and product research, here's how everything can now come together. So what are we going to do with all of this information? We've got the products, we've got the suppliers we want to work with, we've got the selling channels that we want to sell on. How does it all come together? So check it out. This is exactly where AutoDS comes in. Now AutoDS is an all-in-one automation platform and this simply helps you connect between your products, suppliers, and everything that goes in between for full automation, including price and stock monitoring. In other words, when the prices change on one of your suppliers' websites, it'll also change automatically on your dropshipping store so that you don't really have to do anything about it. When the supplier goes out of stock, it'll also go out of stock on your store. It also has automatic order fulfillment. We haven't touched up on orders yet, but we will soon. So all of your orders can be fulfilled for you automatically, whether it's using your buyer accounts or AutoDS's buyer accounts. Again, more information on all of that later. And that also includes automatic tracking number updates. As soon as tracking information is available, it'll also be updated so that your customers can always know what's going on with their orders. And all of this is happening automatically. Product sourcing, which I touched up on earlier in this video, an automatic product importer, making it really easy to add products to your stores, an AI title and description rewrite tool, which I think is absolutely great, especially now that we're entering the generation of artificial intelligence. And here's an example of how that works. So I've got this product right here, this fluffy cloud for your bum. So this is a memory foam uh, mattress topper product. And here next to the title or also next to the description, I can click on optimize description with artificial intelligence. And here I can have the title, the description, or both the title and description being rewritten for me automatically because when we add these products from our suppliers to our stores, usually the writing is not going to be that good, that professional, and, and we still want to have
have something different than what other people have. And this is exactly what this tool is going to offer us. So we can simply click here on AI rewrite and it's going to re rewrite the title and a description to make it more eye catching, to make it more professional, to make it more sellable for our buyers. And this way we can really stand out from the competition. So we've got the AI title and description rewrite tool and so much more, including automatic price optimization, like raising our prices on products that are selling well so that we can profit more, decreasing the prices when they don't sell all up and down to a certain limit so that we will find that sweet spot in the middle and be able to make the most sales and the most amount of profit full inventory management with so many filters as we can see up here this is the products page so these are some of the products that i'm selling on my stores i can add a filter and i can easily filter it by the the profits the quantity the item location the monitoring that i have the profit percentages by how many times the product sold and so many other filters so this way you can really analyze how well these products are selling and one of the things that i love here about the system is that you can see right here i can continue adding more stores so here i've got some ebay stores i've got an amazon store I've got some Shopify stores, some Facebook stores, Wix and WooCommerce all inside one AutoDS account. And I can have all of the products showing up here and I can see everything on the dashboard to see how the business is working. And I can easily analyze the products by all of the filters that I have. And all of these stores or selling channels, in other words, that we talked about earlier, we can add all of the products from the suppliers that I mentioned, tens of millions of products into these selling channels and sell them all with full automation. And we also have, of course, the marketplace and the winning products hub, which are already talked about. So that's just some of what AutoDS can offer you as a full automation software for your dropshipping stores, for your dropshipping suppliers, with everything included inside, including product research, the marketplace, the private suppliers, the winning products hub, automating your orders and so forth. Everything under one intuitive dashboard. Okay, so once we connected our stores to AutoDS and it's very, very simple, just go to AutoDS and click on add store and click on the next store that you want to add. And then you can start adding your products. So choose the selling channel that you want from the selling channels that we talked about add that selling channel to your AutoDS account. And the next step is to add products. So you have your store connected, then we're gonna start adding products and that's it, you're gonna start selling. So here's how simple it is to add products to AutoDS. Now, again, if you guys need the link to register to AutoDS, you can either use the link inside the cheat sheet or just go to autods.com and register for your $1 trial. Now let's talk about adding products because we already went over product research, we went over our suppliers, we added our selling channel, we went over selling channels, we added it to AutoDS. Now we need to start adding products. So how do we actually do that. So there's a few ways to add products to your stores. I'm not going to go to all of them now, but you can easily just head over to autodscom slash suppliers, see what suppliers you can work with, what suppliers you can automate your business with. This is going to give you your first indication. So let's say, for example, I'm going to choose Timu. Okay, so I'm just going to go to timu.com and I'm just going to click on one of the products right here that I'd like to add to my store. Like, let's say this cool looking trendy chest bag right here. So I can just go to the product, hover over the URL, copy it, head over to AutoDS, click on add products. And here I can add a single product. I can add multiple products. I can do so many different things, but let's keep it simple. I'm going to go with single product, paste the URL right here. It automatically chose Timu because it knows that that's a supplier. Then I'm just going to publish it to my store right away or click on edit now quick so that I can do some product optimization before I actually add it to my store. And that's just one way of adding products to your store. Another simply by going to the marketplace and seeing what products we have from all of the suppliers that I mentioned, from private suppliers, wholesale suppliers. If you don't want to work with one of these suppliers or if you want to add more suppliers to your list, you can simply go to the marketplace or the winning products hub, choose a trending product from there. And of course you can click on it to read more information on the product as I showed you before, or you can simply hover over import draft from outside the page or from inside the page and add this product to your store. So in just a few seconds, this product is going to be sold on the selected stores that I have. So this one just took a couple of seconds let's go to the drafts and here it is right there now we can enter the product optimizer and i can optimize the title but again i'm going to use optimized title with ai for that it's just much much better same goes for the description and the rest of the things got automated like the tags the country location the variations all three of them got added as well as all of the product images and of course everything was added in just a couple of seconds in just the click of a button there are more ways of course to add products to your stores but again i don't want to make this video longer than it has to be there's more info about that through autods.com just hover over over our features or you can simply click on the automatic importer right here inside the cheat sheet so there's the manual way of adding products by just going to your selling channel and clicking on i want to list a new product but of course this is going to take a long time it's going to consume a lot of time because you need to copy and paste the title copy and paste the description 
You can use ChatGPT to do your AI rewrite, but again, this is just gonna take more time because you're doing everything manually. Download all the images from your supplier, upload all the images to your selling channel, item specifications, and everything else. So it's gonna take a lot of time, especially when you wanna add multiple products. You don't wanna spend all day doing that. So that's why automation is king. So we talked about the AI product title description generator, so I'm not gonna go over it now. Now that you have products in your stores, okay, we went over product research, we added trending products to our stores, we added, we connected with AutoDS, we added our selling channel to AutoDS, and we started adding products to our selling channel from the suppliers that we can automate our business with. Everything so far has been automated, but now it's time to market our products. And again, it depends on what selling channel we're using. We have different types of methods, and I'm not gonna leave you alone here because marketing is super important. So I broke down marketing to organic marketing. By the way, this is that printer tool that I talked about. So you can see that it's also very trendy on TikTok. I found this one seller who has lots of viral videos on this product. That's one of the marketing methods that we can use. Let's go over that right now. So we've got organic marketing methods that don't require any budget, like recording and publishing product videos on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts and reels, just like we're seeing right up here. So you can order the product to your house. Of course, that's gonna set you back a few bucks, however much the product costs. But now you can shoot as many videos as you want on that product, upload it to TikTok, upload it to Instagram, upload it to YouTube Shorts, and watch the organic traffic start to roll in. Just make sure that inside your bio, you have a link to your website and your product page so that they'll know where to go to purchase this product. So this one requires no budget or at least a budget just to purchase the product and send it to your home. You can, of course, create a blog page. You can use email marketing. If you want good ways to create blog pages, I highly recommend watching our chat gpt video which shows you how you can do well many things for a dropshipping stream business using chat gpt we have a link to it right here in the cheat sheet but it also shows you how you can write effective emails for email marketing and creating good blogs that will work well on google so that you can get free organic traffic that way then we've got the paid marketing methods where a budget of course is required for example 2014 is the year for artificial intelligence and we can also use that for our marketing efforts there are many tools that can help us one of my personal favorites are HeyGen because you can actually start for free by creating product videos for your products. You can use your own voice. You can use artificial intelligence voice. You can use whatever avatar you want. And here, for example, I can show you one of the quick ones that I created for a product that actually came with a template. So you can choose your own text. You can change whatever product you want inside the video. And of course, change the text around, change the speaker, write whatever text you want her to say or him to say. And you have a timeline right here where you can completely edit the video. And of course, once you submit it, you can actually watch it in action. Okay, like this one right here, I created it. I didn't show the product, but I created a quick video AI copy for an electric garlic masher tool. So I just entered the text right here and click on play. And I just think that that's simply amazing. Again, I'm not gonna get too much into it. You can have AI create a video for your product if you don't wanna create one yourself. Or if you don't, of course, wanna use the video that you got from your supplier, which usually isn't good enough, and other dropshippers are already using that method. Then we've got pay-per-click ads, and I've got a full ebook on how to run ads on Facebook. We also have the same for TikTok. Everything is in our resources section on the AutoDS website. But again, this is absolutely for free. Just click on unlock your ebook, write your name and your email address, and that PDF will be yours to download with all of the sections, basics, how to set up your account, your Facebook ads account, installing the pixel, audience research, targeting, creating the video, ads, setting your campaign goals and ad sets, launching your ads, analyzing and optimizing everything absolutely for free in an ebook. We've got Facebook right here. We've also got it on TikTok. So everything that you need on how to run pay-per-click ads so that you can show your ads in front of your audience today and start getting them to purchase those products. You can run ads on Google, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and YouTube. Those are the best places to run ads on today to actually get effective results. And we've also got influencer marketing. Again, I've got a link to it in the cheat sheet. Guys, if you fast forward to this section of the video, I have this cheat sheet up for grabs with all of the links, all of the resources that I'm talking about. Just drop a comment below, hashtag dropshipping2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And of course, do proceed to like and subscribe to our channel if you appreciate the value. I will send you this cheat sheet with everything inside. So influencer marketing is another great way to get people to see your products. So you're hiring influencers to create shout outs for your product. And with this article and video, on influencer marketing platforms that can hook you up with the right influencers that have a, an audience following or that's relevant to the product that you're selling. This way you'll be able to narrow down to the right influencers to negotiate a price with them, get them to create a shout out for your product, maybe even send them the product, 
have them do a quick review on it, and they're gonna get you a lot of traffic to your stores. This is the newer way of marketing. It's newer than email marketing. It's newer than pay-per-click ads. It's as new as AI-generated videos, a little bit older, but these are the top two new methods of marketing that's really making a killing today for other sellers. Now, here are some of the marketing tools that we have that are selling channel-specific marketing. For example, on eBay, we've got also PPC ads that we can run. I've got content on that on how to run effective pay-per-click ads for eBay, a video and an article. So all the information that you need is right there. And I showed you my campaigns that I ran and I showed you also the results, my keywords, how many sales and so forth and how to start this from A to Z. But of course, pay-per-click ads require a starting budget because you need to give a daily budget, $5 per day, $10 per day, so that your ads will start running and you may or may not get sales right from the start. Whereas in other methods like eBay promoted listing standard, here, eBay will promote your products and you won't have to pay a dime for it until only after you make a sale from those products. Now, there are more ways to market. You can also create coupons, volume pricing, and run sales events. All of these methods do not cost you any money except for the advanced promoted listings, which is pay-per-click. So you can start with this, start to make your sales in profit. And once you start to make those profits, invest it also into pay-per-click if you don't have the budget to, for it right from the start. That's the right way to market on eBay. Next, for Facebook Marketplace, you can run Facebook promotions and you can also promote your products in buy and sell groups that are relevant to your product. Of course, I've got the link right here to show you exactly how you can do those things. TikTok, how to use TikTok marketing to promote your products so that you can create videos that look like this and other conventional methods that are working really well today on TikTok being the new social media kid on the block. So again, a full blog article on how you can do that inside the cheat sheet. For Etsy, you can run sales and discounts, pay-per-click ads, and also run off-site ads. All of these methods worked. I showed you on my Etsy account, on my Etsy store, how I also got sales from off-site ads. And for Amazon, we've got sponsored ads, or in other words, pay-per-click. So Amazon also has that going on. And additional marketing resources like marketing strategies without using Facebook or Instagram, and upselling strategies for Shopify. This, again, has all of the information that you need to market your products the right way, no matter what selling channel you are using, Everything is covered here with the top newest and freshest methods for 2024. Now, after you marketed your products correctly, it's inevitable now you're gonna finally start making your sales. And this is where order automation comes in. Now, of course, you can do it the manual method. So you get a sale, all right, cool. You go to your AutoDS account and you can just check out this screenshot right here, or I'll actually show you what the real deal looks like. So I'll just go to the order screen. And here you can see your dropshipping orders. Now, one way to do it is simply going to your supplier's website. You got the supplier links right here under, under item ID. It'll take you to that product page and all you have to do is check out on your supplier's website and ship it to your end customer. You've got the buyer's details also right here on AutoDS or you can just go to the selling channel if you're doing everything manually and process each and every order. But once you make it to five orders per day, 10 orders per day and so forth, it's good news. But if you haven't automated your business yet, do it now because you do not wanna spend all day processing orders. You do not wanna spend all day adding products and you do not wanna spend all day on manual product research. This is gonna consume all of your time and you won't really be able to automate, grow and scale. And if you wanna make it to the big numbers, you're gonna to have to start implementing these strategies. So again, there's the manual way to do it. Just go to your supplier's website, purchase the product, ship it to your end customer, or you can hook up with Fulfilled by AutoDS or Automatic Orders. Automatic Orders uses your buyer accounts and Fulfilled by AutoDS uses AutoDS's buyer accounts. But either way, the orders are being processed as soon as they come in, even while you're outside, when you're not sitting in front of your computer, while you're dreaming at night, while you're traveling with your family or spending time with your loved ones, everything is being automated for you in the background. So as soon as an order comes in, it'll get processed and sent out to your customer with automatic tracking number updates. Of course, all of this information is being shared with you. You can just click on automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS and learn more about that. All of the links, of course, are inside the cheat sheet. But this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna get an order on your orders page and it's gonna start off in pending status, just like this one right here, okay? And from pending status, if you have automatic orders, it's gonna get sent to auto order automatically and then it'll be in the ordered status once it was ordered with the buy order ID from your supplier. And once it's shipped, it's gonna switch to shipped status with the tracking number and with that shipping carrier. Once it's delivered, it'll move over to delivered and that is pretty much all there is to it. Get order automation, start automating your business, and this is gonna make everything a whole lot better, allowing you to grow your dropshipping empire and not just getting stuck with a small store with no ability to scale. Guys, from this point on, you learned about product research, you learned about dropshipping suppliers, you learned about the best selling channels, you learned about the best marketing methods, we learned about how to automate our orders, and so many more tips that I 
added in between while also showing my dropshipping stores from different selling channels. As I mentioned, I've been doing this for a long time now and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. Dropshipping is growing year by year and the best thing to do is to jump in now and take action. Get this cheat sheet again, hashtag dropshipping2024. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you learned, what you loved about this video and I will share this cheat sheet with you. And again, guys, like and subscribe. We appreciate it and we'll have much more valuable content just like this to help you understand how to start, run, and manage a successful money-making machine. I've helped tens of thousands of other dropshippers make money with their business, whether they're at the beginning of their dropshipping business or if they're in the middle and struggling to make more sales. And from here, once you start making your sales, provide great customer service to your buyers. I believe that this is one of the main things that helped me sustain and continue building my businesses for over seven years now. And these online assets are some of the best things that you can have because at the beginning, it does require a lot of work, but in time, it's gonna start working for you passively and automatically, especially once you've got automation in, and then you can continue opening more stores and having a network of online assets working for you in the background. Provide excellent customer service so that you can get repeat customers to your store. Check your messages every day from your customers if there are any open returns or cases take care of them right away do not argue with your customers don't make them mad for choosing to purchase from you those return customers or the ones that refer their friends and their family to purchase from you are simply a gold mine and we want to reach as many customers as we can with that and with great customer service that's exactly what we're gonna get now there are many more things that I didn't talk about like the AutoDS wallet section that combines all of your finances in one place and what this does is it simply connects to your Payoneer account so that you can withdraw funds from Payoneer to the AutoDS balance and fulfill your orders from that so it makes it much easier so this way i get paid through pioneer and i also pay my suppliers through pioneer and this way all of my finances are being done from one place and of course you can connect multiple accounts like i've got 413 dollars right here i can see all of my history log right here and i can open up the second one and you can connect again as many accounts as you want so i've got more money here more transactions here and more things happening and of course you've got the academy which is absolutely free and in the academy, you have so much more information on top of everything that I added on to this video, like all of the free courses, eBay, Shopify, Facebook, Amazon, Etsy, and more, as well as selling channel specific courses and selling channel specific videos like eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, general videos, technical for the platform on how to use AutoDS, product finding on the best products to sell, everything that you can watch from within the AutoDS system. And again, this is just some of the stuff that's waiting for you inside this great and wonderful automation platform. So now you've got no more excuses. You can take action. You have more than enough resources to start your business right now. Good luck. Good job on making it this far. Now all that's left to do is to download the cheat sheet. Again, hashtag dropshipping2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. And I'm going to personally send you this cheat sheet with more than enough information that you need on every supplier, on every selling channel, not only limiting you to one option. Good luck with your dropshipping business. I can't wait to hear about your success story. Welcome to dropshipping in 2024.